I'm Neil Storals, an old journalist, now MEP, going to Sharm. And I'm Morten Helve Petersen. I work with energy and also going to the COP27. Well, COP27 will be probably one of the most difficult. Why? Because we know that uh, regarding losses and damages, uh, we actually we have had more losses and more damages than we actually need to have, partly due to the war. Uh, and then you don't need to go further than read your newspapers. Uh, Pakistan was badly hit. Africa is badly hit. So there is going to be a, a very hard discussion. We need Europe in there to, to, to have a leadership role. And, uh, and obviously with, with the war in Ukraine and the impact it's having on, on, on European citizens, uh, my worry is that if we have focus enough, attention enough on the global uh, climate negotiations, because right now leading up to Sham, it doesn't look that good. No. We need Europe in there to pick up the green mantle. We need Europe to, uh, to work with the Americans, hopefully push the Chinese, the Indians, and do some good stuff together with, uh, with, with the, uh, the developing nations. So uh, this is really the time for Europe to step up in terms of green leadership. So, I mean, the short answer is no, uh, and, and, and it's taking too long time. Uh, I mean, we both spend all our hours in, uh, in this house negotiating some of these extremely complicated files, and it is moving too slowly in general. So uh, we should do more and we should do it faster. Uh, and, and by doing so, hopefully also inspiring some of the other continents to, uh, to get into this climate fight, because we really need it if we have to meet our objectives. And what we did during the climate law negotiations was actually just showing that we can do better than the Commission and, and, and the Council. And so in a, in a certain way, when we speak about Europe, the Parliament has a certain responsibility to, to be slightly more radical, showing the, the, the the directions for, for, for the rest of the institutions and I think we are taking that pretty seriously. What we are trying to do with the Green Deal and Fit for 55 that, that's on the table in Parliament, I mean this, these are the most ambitious uh, way of trying to transit away from fossils into renewables, into sustainability. So if, or rather when, we succeed in this over the next one and a half years or so. Europe at large will be the continent with the most uh, encompassing legislation in this transition. And hopefully uh, this can inspire some of our partners uh, uh, in, in, in other continents. And probably force them because at the same time we are changing the rules in, in the market. So if you are going to be able to compete then you have to change your systems and that's probably it's going to be a very interesting driver. Hopefully that, that countries are, are committing uh, to, to uh, a higher speed in delivering on, upon uh, the targets and, and objectives. Uh, we've been disappointed with previous COPs. Uh, I, I hope uh, that this time around that we'll see more commitments from uh, all the various uh, member states because we need it. Uh, clearly we can see with the Paris objectives that we are not on track in this. We have to deliver more and we have to do it faster.